array of structures. Earlier programs were very simple in nature. All they did was it received values into various structure elements and output these values. It demonstrated how structure types are created, how structure variables are declared, initialized and how individual elements or members of a structure variable are referenced. Now it is definitely not very convenient if we want to store 5 different books using 5 different structure variables from book 1 to book 5. A better approach is to use an array of structures. Following program shows that. Open code blocks and save it as s10-03.c. Press Ctrl Shift N, Ctrl S, s10-03.c. Include the header file, hash include open close angular brackets stdio.h define the book structure struct book open close curly brace semicolon declare the three member variables char name open close brackets semicolon 20 inside the brackets int pages semicolon float price semicolon write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon declare an array of type struct book that can hold up to 5 book records struct book book open close brackets 5 using a for loop take user input for every book and save in corresponding member variables of individual book elements for open close parenthesis open close curly brace inside the parenthesis of for loop write int i equals to 0 semicolon i less than 5 semicolon i plus plus a plus within parenthesis std in i will explain this code later printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes backslash in enter name colon space get s open close parenthesis semicolon book open close brackets i dot name printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write enter pages and price backslash in enter pages and price colon space Scanf, open close parenthesis, semicolon, within double quotes, write percent %d, percent %f, comma, ampersand, book, open close brackets, i, dot, pages, comma, ampersand, book, open close brackets, i, dot, price. Finally, iterate through the struct book array to print the array elements for each book. For open close parenthesis, int i equals to 0, semicolon, i less than 5, semicolon, i plus plus. Printf, open close parenthesis, semicolon, within double quotes, write backslash n, percent s, percent d percent f comma book open close brackets i dot name comma book open close brackets i dot 
pages comma bo open close brackets i dot price press f9 to build and run the program enter name let's see enter pages and price 150 300.0 enter name let c plus plus pages and price let c sharp page and price let php page and price let java pages and price all right all the records have been printed out on the console what is this method a plus stdin and why we need to call it inside the for loop let's comment out the a plus stdin call and run the program let's see 200 140.0 as you can see from the second iteration the get is method is skipped and control jumps to the next scanf method and is ready for taking pages and price why this is happening this is because of the fact that when we have given the pages and price for a book along with that we have pressed enter to terminate the input now the enter the return key is also taken by the system and that's there in the input buffer the standard input buffer is that part of memory that is going to hold the next input from the keyboard so the input for pages and price are taken by the member variables but the return key is still in the input buffer so in the next iteration get is is expecting a string from the keyboard so the return key is still sitting in the standard input buffer and that input variable is assigned with the particular return key so it's keeping get is because it's already getting its value from the standard input buffer in order to solve the problem what we need to do is clear the standard input buffer by calling a plus stdin within parenthesis prior to taking characters using getis all right thanks for watching see you in the next lecture